Hey guys, I'm Fantastic Fox, and today I'm going to be going to be showing you how to solve a two x two Rubik's cube. So first, we need to go over well what in the background is is standard notation, which is basically letters that is basically moves on the cube. So R stands for right, D's down, and then L is left, and U is up. B is back and F is front, basically just what you think. So, and then the dash on top right there, that's basically prime, which is counterclockwise. So this would be R prime, R, D prime, D, L, L prime, face, F, F prime, and then up, U, U prime. So it's not that hard to understand. It's just basically, um, instead of documenting every move that I do in the cube, you can use it doing letters. So the first step on how to solve a Rubik's cube is you gotta get three um, of one color pieces onto um, one side. Oh, and red is opposite to orange, um, yellow is opposite with white, and green is opposite with blue. If it's solved, it has to be that way. There's no other way it can be. So I like to start with white. So basically what you do is just get three white pieces on one side like this. Pause the video. You need to catch up. Then there has to be a white piece. And now there, so this is on top. You have to look at the one that's unsolved, and below it, there has to either be a piece there, there, or there. That's white, like mine is. So basically what you do then is the algorithm shown. The white piece is there, so you hold it like this, and you do R prime, D prime, R, D. And then that won't solve it right away sometimes, but basically you just do that until it's solved. R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. And then eventually it will be solved. So the next step is to get this first layer solved. This isn't solved because that's not, these will be one color on every side once it's, once it's solved. So what you do is you look for a pair already. So I don't have a pair, but that's fine if you don't. But look for a pair, and if you have one, face it away from you, and then do the following algorithm. So let's say you don't have a um, pair, then you just basically do the algorithm, then you have a pair, face away from you, do it again. So R prime, D prime, R, L, D, L prime, R prime, D prime, R. So if you had a pair at the beginning, then it should solve the layer. If not, you probably messed something up. Then you have, I have a pair here, so face that away from me, and then do it again. R prime, D prime, R, L, D, L prime, R prime, D prime, R. And then this entire layer will be solved. The next step is the yellow face. So that's the white, and from the beginning of the video, the opposite of white is yellow. So we need to get that side to be yellow. So basically what you do, if you only have one corner piece yellow, you put it in the bottom left corner. If it's two yellow pieces next to each other, then you put it on the right side. And if there's none, just do the algorithm. And if there's two like this, you put one of them in the bottom left and then do the algorithm. So I have none. So I basically just don't move anything and go R U R prime U R U two means that when you do it twice, R prime. Now I have those, put those R U R prime U R. And see, I have one, so put it here. Do it again. And then you have that one, put it there and do it again, R, U, R, from U, R. And then you know you're done when you have this side solved. Now what you do 
is you look for a pair in this top layer. See, I have red. And if you don't have a pair, that's fine. Just do the following algorithm and then you should have a pair, so then do it again. So the next step is, well, to finish the cube. So now you look at, and if you have the pair, pair it up to its side so you have that face all, but you still have to have yellow and white. If you have the pair, just line it up to the pair on bottom and then face that side away from you. Then you do R prime, face, which is that, R prime, back twice, R, and then back twice, R twice, back twice, and then it should look like this. Basically, all you do is move that like that, and your cube will be solved.